Bitcoin pod. Let's freaking go in today's show. Bitcoin price analysis as we just captured 31,500 heading towards new all-time highs. I'll be breaking down this for you. Also quoting Max Kaiser, the high priest of Bitcoin. He says that the new all-time highs for Bitcoin and then $220,000 before the hash adjusted implied price in the mid $300,000. Let's freaking go. Also, this just in, SEC commissioner says, the logic for why we haven't approved the spot Bitcoin ETF has always mystified me. I'll be breaking down this latest update from SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce. Also, the latest update from Kathy Wood. She was recently interviewed on TV regarding the spot Bitcoin ETF. Also, breaking news, MicroStrategy's Bitcoin stash is back in profit with Bitcoin price back above $30,000. Shout out to my long-term hodlers. Also, Bitcoin ETF to trigger a massive demand from the institutions, according to Ernst & Young. I'll be breaking this down for you, as well as crypto analysts says the Bitcoin to go faster and higher than most traders can imagine. I'll be breaking down his very bullish Bitcoin price targets, as well as Skybridge boss Anthony Scaramucci predicts Bitcoin's value can multiply 11-fold with the BlackRock ETF approval. Also, the macro guru, former Goldman executive Raul Powell, says that retail will front run the VCs and institutions before a crypto explosion sending the Bitcoin price action 10x. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this plus so much more in today's show. You gotta respect the pump. Welcome everyone. This is podcast episode number 1300 and... 39. I'm your host, JV. Lots to cover. The entire crypto market is pumping and in the green, which we love to see. Today is October 23rd, 2023. And before we kick it off into our market watch, I wanted to give a few shout outs for the recent subscribers to the channel. And also, I want to give a shout out to everyone in our live chat. You can now see with the new and improved version of Crypto News Alerts, we now feature a live chat box so we can give everyone the recognition they deserve. And the Bitcoin price is currently currently pumping at this time above $31,300. So yeah, massive shout out to Jeff Witten. I appreciate you joining uh, and subscribing to the Crypto News Alerts uh, channel. And for now on, anyone who subscribes during the live stream, like right now, you're going to get a shout out on screen. So take advantage of it, especially if you're not already subscribed. Also, shout out to They Said That who also just subscribed to the YouTube channel, as well as Gary, uh, looks like Sandman. Shout out to the Sandman Gary. Appreciate your support, fam. And as you can see, we're now pumping at 31,400. Things are getting very excited in the markets, uh, to say the least. Also, a quick shout out to Misha Wright. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and supporting the crypto movement. So much love and much respect. And there's a bunch more to shout out, but I can't get to them all. So let's uh, dive right into today's market watch and check out the charts and what is popping currently with the King Crypto. Um, As you see here, we're back in the forest green, which is a beautiful sign. Bitcoin pumping now above 5% for the day. I don't know about you, but I can get used to these 5% daily pumps. That's what's up. We also have Ether up 4.5%, trading back above $1,700, along with the rest of the crypto market pumping in in the green, with Chainlink up now trading at $10.30, up almost 10% for the day. And checking out coin market cap, we have the crypto market cap sent at $1.18 trillion, climbing north with roughly $51 billion in volume in the past 24 hours, meaning the volume is up 32%. And the Bitcoin dominance, the longest or the highest we have seen this in a very long time, fam. This is the sign of the times, 51.8%. And the Ether dominance at 17.4%. And checking out the top 100 crypto gainers of the past 24 hours, we have Mina up 16%, trading at 46 cents, followed by Injective up 14%, trading above $10.39, followed by Rocket Pool up 14%, trading just under $22. And checking out the top 100 crypto gainers of the past week, massive sea of green, virtually everything in the top 100 minus maybe two cryptos, which are correcting. So this is a beautiful sign. And PLS is up 22%, clearly leading the pack, followed by Mina up roughly 16.4%. And checking out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, one of my favorite indicators, shows we're currently rated a 53, which is neutral. Yesterday was a 53 as well. Last week, a 47. And last month, a 47, which is 
neutral. So there you have it, fam. How many of you are currently bullish on Bitcoin and took advantage of the recent dip? Let me know. And uh, I'll be shouting everyone out here a little later in the show. Now let's dive into today's Bitcoin technical analysis. Check out the charts of where the Bitcoin price action is likely to go next, shall we? Here we go little price action for you. Bitcoin held above 30,000. Thank God for that. At the October 23rd Wall Street Open, as analysis said the price strength could cancel its bearish fractal. And here you're looking at the Bitcoin one hour candle chart looking bullish as all heck, which we love to see. Uh, Cointelegraph data and trading view followed Bitcoin as it hovered above 30,700, up two and a half percent on the day. Now, Bitcoin made snap gains after the October 22nd weekly close, stopping just shy of 31,000 and what became its highest levels since July. Now popular trader and analyst Right Capital is keen to see the 31,000 level break. And lo and behold, we just broke it. We're at 31,500 at this time. Quitting him here, Bitcoin has weekly closed above the lower high resistance and confirming the breakout, which he shared alongside this chart. He also argued that Bitcoin slash USD could disregard the bearish chart fractal in play throughout 2023 next. This involved the two year to date highs near 32,000 forming a double top formation with downside due as a result. Result. That's right. The annual high thus far is 32,000. So we're on the cusp of breaking it. Send it. Specifically, Bitcoin requires a breach of 31,000 in order to do so. Quoting him here on, here on X. Is Bitcoin on the cusp of invalidating the bearish fractal? Here are the bearish fractal invalidation criteria. A. Bull market support. Ban holds as support. B. Weekly close beyond the lower high resistance. And C. Breach of 31,000 yearly highs. And it looks like we have achieved this. So definitely a good indicator and a good omen for the entire crypto market. Now, as noted by its lead analyst checkmate today, the metric, also known as the average active investor profit ratio, has crossed the key level. Pay attention. Bitcoin's true mean market price, the level that Bitcoin spends exactly 50% above or below, is now below the spot price at 29780 Quoting them here, have we now paid our bear market dues, he shared, as Bitcoin's most accurate cost basis model, which he shared a alongside this chart. Now, analyzing the potential drivers of this current rally, we have James Van Stratton, research and data analyst at crypto insights firm Crypto Slate, flagging a potential approval of a US spot Bitcoin ETF, which we're all awaiting on, right? While not yet awarded the green light, a US spot ETF is being treated as an inevitably after legal battles resulting in regulators losing sway and taking big fat L's. Yes, that's right, you chairman Gary Gensler, quoting them here. The the potential approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF for Bitcoin has spurred a significant increase in bullish inflows into the crypto market. And he also notes that Glassnode data shows inflows via over-the-counter trading desk spiking since late September, quoting him here. In addition, the purpose Bitcoin ETF with its holdings of approximately 25,000 Bitcoin has observed consistent inflow throughout the past month. Even though these inflows might not be termed as large, they denote a positive market sentiment. He also shared that this uptick in inflows across various platforms indicates an optimistic market response to the potential approval of the Bitcoin ETF, bolstering the overall landscape of digital assets. Can you say bullishness? Now, the largest Bitcoin institutional investment vehicle, which is Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, continues to see a lower discount to the Bitcoin spot price, having already seen its smallest negative margin since December of 2021. This stood at negative 13.12% as of today per data from monitoring resource coin glass. And as the high priest of Bitcoin calls here, Max Kaiser, new all-time highs for Bitcoin and then $220,000 before the hash adjusted implied price in the mid $300,000. And shout out to Nigel Bokele and whatever weaponry he is holding in this photo because it looks next level to say the least. And also breaking news coming in, SEC commissioner says the logic for why we haven't approved the spot Bitcoin ETF has always mystified me. In fact, she just shared this on Squat Box. I actually trans translated what she shared. And I can't say whether or not the commission is ready to approve a Bitcoin ETF. I've been thinking we should approve one for the last five years. Gary, where you at, Mr. No Clarity Gary? So the logic for why we haven't has had one has mystified me. I'd say we're all mystified. The court case obviously is an important factor in the landscape, but I can't guess as to my colleague's approach to this topic. I can guess their approach suppressing the Bitcoin price action in which Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, has been doing a fantastic 
fantastic job with since taking that position. But it's good to see we have good people and good souls who are pro-Bitcoin within the SEC. I say we make Hester Pierce the chairman of the SEC and fire Gary Gensler. What's your thoughts, fam? Let me know. And also, here's quoting Kathy Wood from a recent interview on ETF Edge regarding the spot Bitcoin ETF. Here's what they asked her. Looks like the SEC is going to be forced to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. Why or what, if any, communications have you had with the SEC about your app? And where are we with this whole thing? Kathy Wood responded, well, it was publicized and disclosed. I think it was last week that we had responded to the SEC request for info around our Bitcoin filing. And we responded. And that's basically all we can say. I think many people think that the fact that the Fed, I mean, the SEC chose to ask questions is a change in behavior. And therefore, I do think hopes are rising that a or a number of Bitcoin ETFs will be approved. And then the guy asks, yeah, my understanding is the court now is going to issue a mandate about how to enforce their decision here to the SEC. And they are going to basically follow that mandate. Everybody is assuming at this point that they'll probably approve most of the Bitcoin ETFs by the end of the year. Is that a reasonable assumption at this point? They lost the court case. They chose not to appeal. Is that the point? Kathy responded, right. And I do believe maybe the reason they are saying by the end of the year, early next year, I know our final deadline on this filing is January 10th. And so I think we are for in line. But as you say, a number of Bitcoin ETFs can be approved at about the same time now. So there you have it coming directly from Kathy Wood, the CEO of ARK Invest. Who do you think is likely to get the green light first from the SEC? Think it'll be BlackRock, Fidelity? Could it be Van Eck? Could it be 21 shares in Kathy Wood's company? Let me know your honest thoughts. As we know, once we get the green light, it's going to usher in trillions of dollars into the Bitcoin market. And that's why I think the market is so bullish right now. They know it's inevitable. Two of the biggest Bitcoin catalysts incoming, Bitcoin having scheduled to take place in April of 2024. And then we got spot Bitcoin ETF approval. So game on. All right, fam. Now let's break down our next story of the day. Now that we finished our technical analysis and discuss the latest with Micro Strategy, the company founded by the one and only Giga Chad, Michael Saylor, and one of the largest holders of Bitcoin in the world next to Grayscale. So let's break this down as they are now officially in profit, which is a great sign. As of October 23rd, MicroStrategy held a whopping 158,245 BTC worth almost $5 billion, up about 132 mil from the original amount invested with the Bitcoin purchased at an average cost of 29,800. 70 per coin. In other words, the firm is now up at least 130 bucks per coin. MicroStrategy started buying Bitcoin back in 2020, then ramped up purchases this year in 2023 as its price recovered from extreme losses resulting from the U.S. Federal Reserve policy around interest rate hikes, as well as the high-profile crypto bankruptcies and implosions. Now, in September of 2023, MicroStrategy acquired an additional 5,444 BTC by raising an equivalent amount of capital, mirroring the approach that saw the firm buy approximately 12,333 BTC by raising funds earlier in the year. Now, Michael Saylor, the co-founder and chairman of MicroStrategy, shared the following data, which you can see on your screen, showing Bitcoin's outperformance versus traditional assets since the company adopted its crypto buying strategy in August of 2020. MicroStrategy was also uh, the first publicly traded company to put Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Now, look at these numbers. They don't lie. Bitcoin is up 147%. S&P up 26%, NASDAQ up 18%, then gold is negative 3%, silver negative 19%, and bonds, the biggest loser, negative 24%. So when people ask, why aren't you bullish on gold and silver? That's because there's no true price discovery in the markets. They're completely manipulated. So therefore, Bitcoin will continue to outperform the precious metal markets. Now, will Bitcoin price rise further into next year? I absolutely think so, but here's what the charts indicate. Since May 2022, Bitcoin failed to establish a clear bullish momentum after crossing that critical 30,000 mark. This scenario may repeat in the coming weeks. This in turn risks pushing MicroStrategy's Bitcoin investment below its average buying price once again. Now more downside cues from the Bitcoin daily relative strength index known as the RSI, now as its most overbought level since January of 2023. And as a rule of technical analysis, an overbought RSI could 
prompt the Bitcoin price to drop or consolidate sideways. A correction scenario will see the Bitcoin price head towards its 50-day exponential moving average near 27700 in November, down about 10% from the current level. And conversely, maintaining and confirming 30000 as the new support level will only open the door towards the next big resistance area at 32000 which we are uh, quickly approaching. Now, from a fundamental perspective, the potential approval of a Bitcoin ETF in the U.S. serves as a strong bullish backdrop, according to CryptoQuant, noting the approval of a Bitcoin ETF can boost the Bitcoin market's net cap by $155 billion. That's a significant amount, considering the Bitcoin market cap is just north of $500 billion. CryptoQuant argues that if this happens, the price of Bitcoin can hit $50,000 to $73,000 per coin in 2024. Personally, I think this is extremely conservative, which could certainly become a boom for for micro strategy. However, the firm says it will stay on its Bitcoin course even if a Bitcoin ETF gets the green light. So there you have it, fam. MicroStrategy will continue to do what they do best, stacking them stats and hodling for the long haul. That's 150,000 Bitcoin, which will never be sold or dumped onto the open market. Unlike FTX and their scam with Bankman Freed, who was dumping all of your Bitcoin you were uploading to their exchange and replacing it with a scam token called FTT. But anyways, fam, now let's break down our next story of the day and discuss the ETF thriving demand occurring right now because all eyes are on ETF. So let's break this down. This is brand new breaking news. Bitcoin is in a massive demand from institutional investors, but awaiting a spot Bitcoin ETF approval to trigger the buying rally. And according to a blockchain executive at the professional services provider, Ernst & Young. Now, Ernst & Young's global blockchain leader is Paul Brody. He believes the Bitcoin faces a lot of pent-up demand from the institutions due to the U.S. regulators not approving a spot Bitcoin ETF for years. In fact, the first spot Bitcoin ETF app was submitted by the Winklevoss Bros a freaking decade ago. Let that sink in. Now, Brody discussed the outlook for the crypto adoption on CNBC's Crypto Decrypted October 23rd, which is today, declaring that trillions of dollars in institutional money are awaiting to enter Bitcoin once a Bitcoin ETF finally gets approved, quoting him here. But any of these other institutional funds, they can't touch this stuff unless it's an ETF or some other kind of regulatory blessed act Activity. And if you look at people who are buying the Bitcoin, they are buying it as an asset. They are not buying it as a payment tool. Those who are buying Ethereum are buying it as a computing platform for business transactions as well as decentralized finance services. Brody's remarks come amid global investors closely watching the crypto regulatory process by the US SEC, which has not approved a single spot Bitcoin ETF thus far in the past decade. Meanwhile, they continue to allow the futures ETFs for manipulation, as you know, Derivatives are weapons of mass destruction, quoting Warren Buffett. Now, a number of companies, including Grayscale Investments, ARK Invest, BlackRock, and Fidelity, have all filed with the SEC for multiple Bitcoin ETF products and are currently awaiting a regulatory response. Now, Grayscale, which in August of this year won the SEC lawsuit for a spot Bitcoin ETF review, recently filed an S3 form registration statement with the SEC to list its Grayscale Bitcoin trust on the New York Stock Exchange, ARCA. Send it. And according to Bloomberg, senior ETF analyst Eric Balchunas, a recent amendment to the spot Bitcoin ETF by ARK Invest in 21 shares is a good sign of progress and impending approvals. The ETF expert believes that the ETF amendments filed in mid-October 2023 could be in direct response to concerns that the SEC has asked ETF issuers to address. So there you have it, fam. Again, when spot Bitcoin ETF is the million dollar question. Let me know when you feel this is likely to get approved. Let me know in the comments right down below. And before we break down our next next bullish price prediction of Bitcoin hitting $100,000 faster than any investor can believe, followed by the latest prediction by Rao Pao, who is the macro guru himself, uh, predicting that the market is going to 10x. But first, let's just give some quick shout outs in that live chat. So make sure to say hello. Uh, yeah, so are we live right here in the chat? Is the chat moving? Give me a second to update it just in case we're not. Let's see. Pop, pop, pop pop out the chat. We should be good to go. Let me know if you guys can see the chat now in real time. It should be updated, hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes it do that. Let's see. Let's see. Make sure to say hello in the chat. And we are pumping 31,600. We're heading to new annual highs. This is a pretty uh, big deal. I don't know why it hasn't refreshed on the screen, but all good because I can see you on the phone. 
So yeah, shout out to Streamlabs, of course, doing its thing. And moderators, Streamlab is a built-in mod as I'm streaming on Streamlabs software. So please don't block anything from Streamlabs if you're a moderator. That's all by uh, design. Shout out to Robert Brady. Shout out uh, to Digital Dankness. Shout out to everyone over on Rumble as well. Uh, Daddy Cool 88 appreciate you. Tim's Crypto and everyone over there. Uh, shout out to Paul E. Walker, J. Ivy. Uh, Irish Crypto, number one. Satwise Jenks, I appreciate all the continued uh, support. But without further ado, let's continue with where we left off as I have some very bullish targets to share with you. In fact, three stories of some very bullish all-time highs. So let's break this baby down, starting right here with this $100,000 price prediction coming from Credible Crypto. Here's what he recently shared on X. Uh, as you can see here on your screen, he said, some call this a cup and handle. I call it the moon bucket. It is literally in the chart and it shows you a Bitcoin just skyrocketing to the moon. Now with Bitcoin trading back above 31,600, the analyst believes Bitcoin will go a lot higher and a lot faster than most market participants can even imagine, uh, leading to a rally towards the midterm target. Shout out to $0 G Row. I appreciate the super chat contribution. He says here, 30,000 Bitcoin has been tested for the third time. How many more tests until we we rip through it and teleport to $40,000? That's a great question, fam. In the long term, Credible thinks that the price of Bitcoin can reach the six-digit price tag. Quitting him again, Bitcoin ideally close to 100000 plus. ETH, not sure, but probably new highs. And while the analyst appears to be extremely bullish on Bitcoin, he notes it is still within the realm of possibility for Bitcoin to retest its support around 28700 As he shares here, a beautiful weekly close reclaiming the level from which we broke down from nearly two months ago that led to the biggest liquidation event we have ever seen since the FTX collapse bottom at 15,000. If you are lucky, we can get a clean retest of the green zone before a continuation. Well, let's freaking go. Uh, yeah. Let me know if you agree or disagree uh, with the analysts. I also agree in the sense that I think Bitcoin can double up uh, and reach a new all-time high, not just an annual high, and it could happen a lot faster than anyone is anticipating. We already are feeling the bullish vibes in the market, and uh, I couldn't be more bullish here personally myself. And with that being shared, now let's break down our next breaking story of the day. Anthony Scaramucci of Skybridge Capital. He is very bullish on Bitcoin, virtually predicting that the King Crypto can 11x from here, sending it parabolic into the multiple six-figure price range. So let's break down the latest from the Mooch himself. Shout out to Scaramucci, who is optimistic about Bitcoin, recently spoke with Altcoin Daily about the various crypto-related topics. The American financier touched on BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF, mentioning he was its first inter external investor. Good to note. I didn't know that. He also addresses the situation with Sam Bankman Freed, the former FTX chief who owned a 30% stake in Skybridge Capital. Scaramucci said he's negotiating with the bankruptcy estate and has no plans to testify in Bankman Freed's trial. So if I understand this correctly, Scaramucci gave Sam Bankman Freed a 30% stake in his company for FTT scam tokens, virtually meaning that Sam Bankman Freed scammed almost everybody in the industry. Crazy, right? Anyways, the Skybridge leader stated he spent approximately four hours with the Department of Justice, who informed him that his testimony wasn't required. Uh, so he's not planning to testify against Bankman Freed. Quoting him here, I have been very public that I think he is a fraud, Scaramucci candidly said about Bankman Freed. Well, that's saying the least, right? Sam equivalated his ADHD and his sloppiness and his disorganizations as a cover for the crimes he were being committed, Scaramucci told Altcoin Daily. You can't have $8.8 .8 billion dollars of your customer's money in your personal account, no matter what your excuse is for that. You cannot do that. Preach. He continued, I think the sentence will be lighter than people expect because he is a young man. Personally, I think the sentence will be lighter than we expect because he was colluding with higher ups, including SEC regulators like the chairman of the SEC. Just pointing out the obvious, right? Now, regarding Bitcoin, Scaramucci predicted that if BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF receives the approval, the Bitcoin valuation can multiply by 11. You run the math at $32,000 per coin, which we're on the cusp of right now, times 11. Someone break down that math in the chat. He theorized significant capital inflows into ETFs if from leading financial entities gaining SEC approval. Think of the magnitude of that. If there is $100 billion that flows 
goes into Bitcoin, that can have 11 times factor in terms of valuation, Scaramucci remark. So could you see Bitcoin go from 600 billion asset to a $600 trillion asset? Oh, hell yeah, send it. Moreover, Scaramucci mentioned his acquaintance with Mr. No Clarity Gary Gensler of the SEC from their time of gold at Goldman Sachs. Now at Goldman Sachs, Scaramucci worked in various roles, including investment banking, equities, and private wealth management. Scaramucci described Gensler now, SEC chair, as roundly disliked during his Goldman tenure. He speculated that Gensler might have felt slighted by Bankman Freed's generous spending in Washington. So there you have it. According to Scaramucci, nobody likes no clarity, Gary. We've got to get this guy out of the SEC. Now, labeling Gensler as a sanctimonious, righteous, if I'm pronouncing that right, fam, Scaramucci predicted he might pose significant challenges for the crypto sector for some time. It almost seems like Gary Gensler is so narrow-minded when it comes to crypto regulation because you look back at his MIT teachings from 2018. He seems to get crypto early on before a lot of the other people did. That's right, because he is colluding with the SEC and he is a no-good regulator and a bad actor, if you are to ask me. I almost feel he's just as guilty as Sam Bankman Freed because he was the one overseeing all of the unlawfulness going on and basically just turning the other cheek and allowing it to happen. Any good regulator would have spotted SPF as a fraud, especially when you have continuous meetings behind closed doors with the guy. You know what I mean? So Gensler is a snake in the grass and cannot be trusted, in my humble opinion, just like Sam Bankman-Fried, snake in the grass, cannot be trusted, hence many made off, made off with over $8 billion of investors' money. You know what I mean? But let me know your thoughts, fam. And with that being shared, now let's break down our breaking story of the day. Macro guru Raul Powell is predicting the Bitcoin market to 10x from here and is extremely bullish. So here's what the macro guru has to share. Macro guru Raul Powell says that the retail investors have a chance to get ahead of the venture capitalists and blue chip investors before the crypto market skyrockets. Let's freaking go. In a brand new interview on the Overpriced JPEG podcast, the former Goldman Sachs executive says that for the first time, retail traders are scooping up crypto assets before the institutional investors place their positions. Now, isn't it interesting how many people were involved with Goldman Sachs? You got SEC Chairman Gary Gensler, you got Raul Pau, you got Scaramucci, and trust me, they run ish over on Wall Street, and they're all connected some way, somehow, which makes it even that much more interesting. But anyways, quoting the macro guru, we have never been given the opportunity to own the infrastructure layer and own it before the institutions. I always talk about this. We are front running the institutions, and it's not like it's some mass illusion or delusion. I know it because I speak to them all day. They are all coming. All the investors are coming. And we get the privilege for the first time in our lives to own this because everything else is venture capital. That's right. Early stage is VC. And to invest into VC, you need to be an accredited investor. Not only that, but most VC funds won't take you unless you've got a certain amount of capital. So it just knocks everybody out of the actual largest part of the economic high that gets made. And then eventually something goes public. And only a few of those companies make a lot of money. So we're disadvantaged as ordinary people. Facts. Paul goes on to describe the risk curve associated with the digital assets, saying that it is very much like the risk curve of traditional assets during tough market times. He also likens Ethereum to the U.S. economy, a growing ecosystem rife with activity. Quitting him again, right now, as the economy slows down, the Fed starts cutting. People will buy treasury bills, bonds, and then they'll buy corporate bonds. Then they'll buy the junk bonds, and they'll buy emerging market junk bonds, and then they'll buy the cr private credit. That's the risk curve. It is exactly the same in cryptocurrency. So the first part of crypto spring, people buy Bitcoin, and then when they get a bit of confidence and things are working, they go down to Ethereum and Ethereum starts outperforming Bitcoin. And before you know it, you start to go down the risk curve, the good projects, Solana or whatever in the middle, like Polygon, Matic and whatever else starts doing well. And then you go to cowboy land and you go to everything. That's the risk curve. What's really interesting is once you start to understand that crypto is an economy, it's just a digital nation state. And Ethereum is actually the layer of the nation states. The Bitcoin economy has more money, but actually it's like Switzerland, right? Just like old people storing their money. Well, Ethereum, there are a lot of stuff going on. And so the Ethereum economy acts like 
the U.S. economy. So there you have it, fam. This is coming directly from Raul Pal, the macro guru. And to watch this recent interview he just did, check the show notes below the video in the description. And another highlight of Max Kaiser's short-term prediction for the King Crypto, for those just joining us, Max says, new all-time highs for Bitcoin and then 220000 before the hash adjusted implied price in the mid $300,000. So send it and let's freaking go. If that gets you excited, let me know, fam. And I greatly appreciate everyone's support. Now what we're going to do is dive into our live q and I'm going to reset the chat on the screen because for some funky reason, it's not pulling up properly. So just give me a second. I'm going to reset that to refresh uh, the chat specifically over on YouTube. The chat is working fine over on Rumble, but just give me a second. Let's see if this works. <clears throat> Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Boop. Let's see. Live chat, YouTube. Is this going to do the trick? Get a little refresh there. Hopefully it does. Let me know, guys, if the chat refreshes on the screen. Sometimes it just be weird like that. I might have to switch off of it and switch back. I could try that as well. Let's try uh, this and then switch it and then... <laughs> just completely switch that out. My apologies for the little tech glitch in the chat, but we should have this sorted here in a second. Um, Hopefully this does the trick. Let's see, did that work? Still showing a stagnant chat for some weird reason. Um, Let me try one more thing. This is another one. This is gonna do the trick. Yeah, okay, it looks like it did the trick when I switched it out that time. Thanks for your patience, fam. Appreciate you guys. Let me know if you can see the chat. It changed to black, which is fine. I actually think it looks sexier uh, on the screen. But shout out to everyone in the live chat today. I appreciate it. What do you guys think about all this bullishness in the market? Are you guys pretty pumped that we're about to retest the annual high of $32,000? Let's freaking go. Let's get it to 36 in memory of Wu-Tang and to the 36 chambers. I'm dating myself. I remember being in sixth grade when Enter the Wu-Tang came out. So 36 chambers. Let's get Bitcoin to 36 Gs. Dopamine, huge freaking pump. You already know. Shout out to Digital Dankness, Satwise Jenks, Will Stop Sun Guru, Steve Hubbs, Satwise, Robbie P in the building. What's good? Jason Bitmarch, Passive Income AI, Jeff S., What's new? What's popping? What are you guys most looking forward to this week? How high do you think the Bitcoin price is likely to climb? Holla at your boy. Yeah, Baz Dragon. Welcome. Appreciate you tuning in live from uh, the UK. UK in a building. Evan Rivero, Pura Vita. Appreciate you tuning in. Shout out to Doug Joseph. Let's make Bitcoin jump to 32,000 with the live. It's incoming, Evan. We're getting there. We're already close to uh, 31,007, so let's keep it moving, shall we? Thanks, JV. Much appreciation. Thank you, McLovin. Appreciate it. Praise be JV, the preacher, Bitcoin. Word up. It's my honor to preach the holy gospel, so you already know. Passive, church is in session. That's Bitcoin church, of course. Hot will be thy name. (laughs) Pump, baby, pump. Yes, let's go. Pump, pump it up. What's good, brother? Good to see you guys. That's right. We will continue to pump. And so do you also do that with your YouTube channel as well? Yeah, man. Yeah, show Dankness some love. He has an epic YouTube channel he just launched, and uh, his channel is Coin IQ. Make sure to subscribe, support the fam. Shout out to J-Dub Laker 21 mil. Good to see you. Appreciate you guys. Feel like I'm at a racetrack, but seeing into the future, easy bets you already know. Let's go. That's right. I subscribe. Thank you, Evan. That's right. And anyone live not already subscribed, you got to subscribe because you're going to get a shout out instantly on the screen. So now you're encouraged to do so. Holla fam. Shout out to Andy Surfer. Uh, Robbie Kaiser says, pump it up, pump, pump it up. Yeah. Maximus is a god among men. Give that moderator some love, boys and girls. Shout out to our mods, both Digital Dankness and Bitcoin Maximus. We have other mods as well, of course. There's quite a few. Doing a damn good job. Just some bought some more extra Satoshis. Congratulations, Robbie. That's what's up. Honor him as a soldier of Rome. Preach. That's what's up. Damn, it feels good, doesn't it? Pump it. Yes, Paul P, 100%. The FOMO will be like ice water for the bears. You already know. Shout out to Happy Hodler. Checking in from Huntington Beach, California. Pump, pump it up. Yeah, here to listen for the good word of Bitcoin. Appreciate you, Walter. Thanks for tuning in. ETH is moving too slow. Yeah, Bitcoin's continuously outpacing ETH. Bitcoin dominance is on the climb, close to 52%. Ether is just above 17%. 
I think uh, Bitcoin will outpace ETH this cycle. That's my humble opinion. Bitcoin could do 10x. The math works. Yeah, easy. Send it. Let's freaking go. Oh my God, I had to pull off the road to catch the live show. Let's freaking go. You already know, guys. Shout out to Jeff S. Safe travels there. Uh, Jester Chester, I want to see Bitcoin green and all of the alts red. That would show that the world is catching on. When that happens, Bitcoin dominance will be much higher, but it's coming. The debate on what Bitcoin will do next has been all over the place. That's a good sign. Take a drink, JV. Thank you, Dankness. I appreciate the reminder. High quality H2O goes a long way. Thank you, fam. What up, Jess? Sending love. 12 rock stat 12. I've been listening for years. Love the show. Much respect. 12 o'clock. I appreciate you, dog. That's a dedication. Gary. Yeah. What up? No, Claire Gare. Gensler has not been at the SEC for five years. It isn't just him. Well, that's true. Jay Clayton come before him as the chairman. Wasn't Gary chairman of the CFTC before he got in position with the SEC? And before that, he was working with Goldman Sachs. He created a fortune. Gensler's probably worth north of $100 million. Yeah. About time they realize that they have no law to attack crypto. About time. Shout out to Michael Bitcoin Jesus Sailor. Amen. Bitcoin approval for the ETFs will be approved all at once after November 19th, once the banks close their books for the fiscal year. I hope you're right, OMC. I would love that personally. Game on. I am bullish on MicroStrategy getting exposure to my 401k. The best move for me, money. Well, congratulations, Robert Brady. Well done. When Ferrari? That's a great question. Don't you think Ferraris are superior to Lambos, just saying. And I think you can now buy Ferraris with Bitcoin. I shared that story maybe about a week ago. They're now accepting from US customers Bitcoin to purchase a Ferrari. So yeah, when Rari, we'll say that instead of when Lambo, right? Bitcoin was still needed, even if gold did its job, in my opinion. But I like your perspective. Word up, dankness. Bitcoin allows borderless transfers. Gold still is regulated. Good point. Where can the Bitcoin ETS be bought once they are given the green light? That's a great question. I don't know. Maybe BlackRock will have it on their website. No clue, but I'm sure we'll be, it'll be shared once it is live. Shout out to Cushy, appreciate you. Joseph, what it do? Ambrosia Chocolate Factory, Irish Crypto. Ferrari incoming, send it. I love those Raris. They're sexy as all hell. That's what's up. Shout out to Zero Dollar G Row. I appreciate that super chat contribution. You the man. Passport Addict, what it do? Thanks, just subscribe. Appreciate the subscription. You the man. Joseph Purden, 40,000 end of the week. Send it, let's freaking go. Irish Crypto, 1%. Word up. Appreciate you tuning in, supporting the movement. Started watching your streams recently. Appreciate the great video, says uh, Squicky. Thank you, Squicky. Uh, Beckham says 88,000 Bitcoin, December 26, 2023. So be it. Credible Crypto and I are on the same page. Word up. I love his bullishness personally. Shout out to Credible Crypto. Much love and much respect to the crypto god. And we're above 31,700. Let's freaking go. This gets me all jacked up. Can you feel it? Oh, man, I'm excited. This is goodness. Yeah, let's freaking go. We'll keep it pumping, shall we? Yeah, 31,698, high on Coinbase. We rising fast. What a pump day. Hells yeah, woohoo. Yeah, 400 people on the live. Plus, we got people over on Rumble. If you didn't know, we stream simultaneous on YouTube and Rumble at the same time. But when the YouTube stream ends, we continue with the uncensored after party Q&A over on Rumble. So make sure you're following me on Rumble. My link is rumble.cryptonewsalerts.net. That's the place to be. We're gonna be having an uncensored session along with JB Reacts, where I react to the most epic crypto Bitcoin related audio clips, which I have prepared for you today. In fact, you can see on my roadcaster all these sexy colorful buttons those are smart pads and i basically set audios i'm going to be reacting to and it's going to be awesome and again it's uncensored unlike on youtube because there's certain things i just can't share unfortunately on youtube due to its uh, being censored what up greg appreciate you where are the bears they're either hibernating or dead Sorry to say that, but it's true. Yeah, Lizard Face has to go. He will go to BlackRock after he approves the spot Bitcoin ETFs. I guess you're referring to Mr. No Clarity Gary, the Lizard Face, right? I might be able to pay off my student loan soon. That's what's up, Geoff. Lizard Face, I love you. It says Irish word. Keep it pumping. 
We're G off, hopefully. Uh, 31750 on Coinbase. Let's go. I think 318 on some of the exchanges right now. We need your help. Smash that like. Spread the love. Maybe we'll get to above 32,000 during the live Q&A. Let's freaking go. Above 318. And the only way up is to go. Let's go. I'm not selling. Don't worry. Price is now approaching 31.9. The year high on July 13th. Bring it. Go Bitcoin. 33 incoming. Send it. I think once we clearly break above 32, 40 is the next target. You know what I mean? It's a psychological level. Uh, the annual high is, that's correct. It's probably about 31,008 to 31,900. So we're on the cusp of breaking it right now in real time. It doesn't get much more exciting than that. Robbie, you're correct. YouTube sucks due to censorship. That's why you guys got to follow me on Rumble. I'm on the cusp of hitting 1,000 followers. I think I'm at like 990 something. So go follow me on Rumble. Help me hit that 1,000 mark. I appreciate it. Let's go 37,000. Send it. Respect the pump. You already know, Jay. Let's go 40 Gs, baby. Chris, the only thing more legend and unstoppable than Bitcoin is Kramer. Man, does he bat 1,000%? Thank God for inverse Kramer. No matter what Kramer says, wasn't he just bashing Bitcoin the other day? And bada boom, bada bing. The opposite always occurs. So he's obviously an implant to give you bad investment advice to get you mother freaking wrecked. That's the job of Jim Kramer. And he's been doing a fantastic job. So we salute you, Jim. Keep it up. 2.6 Fibonacci extension of the move from 24.9 to 28 to 36. Send it. Let's go. Huge freaking pump. Says dopamine. I think I got a dopamine just by watching the pump. <laughs> Let's go. Hits from the hopium bong. Pass, pass. Puff, puff, pass. You know how we do with the grass. <laughs> Bukele may step down six months before election, so he'll be able to run again. Interesting. I didn't hear that. High quality H2O. Now, I heard a rumor that Mr. Javier Malay running for president of... Uh, Argentina, he lost. Is this true? I heard it was like he lost by 3%. I don't know how accurate that is, but as you know, he's a pro-presidential candidate. The election was yesterday. If anyone has any insights in Argentina with the new president, let me know. I was praying that Javier Malay win because we need another Bitcoin pro president like Bukele. Because could you imagine with the large population in Argentina, if they adopted Bitcoin as a legal tender, game on. It'd be the game changer and a, the domino effects, the game theory will continue in full effect. More nations putting Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Let's freaking go. Let's get above 400 people on this live. We're trending in the right direction. Let's go. Yeah, crypto spring in full effect. It'll be a long winter, but KV and CNA helped me through it. Well, I appreciate that. Much respect, Tough T. I appreciate your dedication and tuning into the live. Many are thinking 40,000 is 32 is broken on a daily close. What it do? And yo, heads up, Streamlabs is a moderator. It's a bot moderator. So mods, when you see Streamlabs, don't censor them. That's programmed bot on my behalf, speaking on behalf of my community. So please don't interfere with Streamlabs. That's legit. I'm actually streaming live on Streamlabs. This is the new streaming software I updated from OBS, and it has a lot of cool bells and whistles. Wow, above 31.8. I genuinely think we're about to hit the annual high, fam. We're so freaking close. We're like 200 away from 32,000. We'll keep it moving. Whatever you guys are doing, just keep doing that, and let's get to a new all-time high for the year, shall we? Let's go. Bitcoin Trini, what it do? Bitcoin rules everything around me. Cream, get the sats. That's right, Satoshi Satoshi, y'all. <laughs> Iowa in the building, that's what's up. Great wrestling pedigree out there. It's pumping, let's break 32. We're on the cusp, we're on the precedent right now. BlackRock just formed a cusset number for their impending Bitcoin ETF. Let's go. Yeah, that's right. Got my wallet set up last night. Shout out to Coin IQ for the wealth of knowledge. Yes, shout out to Digital Dankness doing a fantastic job in our space. Congrats to all the mods. They deserve it. The mods rock. Yeah, I'm 90% of Bitcoin maxi, says Cushy. That being said, I can't understate how much I avoid alts after seeing the two cycles now. Now, options to Noster seeing uh, that you are a content creator. Yeah, I should be over on Noster. I think I set it up, but I haven't been active on it. I have to still learn. It's a little more intricate as far as using it in comparison to X, but I do like it. I support Noster. I, I support decentralization and anything decentralized, I'm all for it. We need more decentralization in this world, if you're to ask me. And bada boom, bada bing, we smashed 400 live on YouTube. Let's get the 420 and then we can all take hits from the Hopium Bong together. How does that sound? Let's freaking go. Ferrari coming. Let's get those Raris up. 
You know what I mean? We'll be revving our Raris at the same time. Every start of the show, let's rev our Raris. Let's go. 31-2 on Coinbase. Bring it. Someone leaked it. It should have been approved last week. Raris are finicky and break often. Well, another car I like, Ferraris are great for stunting, but I love Porsches. Uh, before I moved to Puerto Rico, I had a Porsche. I sold it, right? I also sold my gold Rolex Daytona because I was all about stacking sats. And it was probably one of the smartest moves I could have made because this was back in 2018. So I am glad I sold my Roly and I sold my Porsche. And now Bitcoin is worth that much more. So let's freaking go. You know what I mean? Uh, let's get a nice electric dirt bike. I mean, anything works. I got an e-bike here in the community. I love zipping on that thing. It's silent. Zooms. Cheers from Mexico. Few believers in Bitcoin here in Mexico. Hopefully this will change. I have my good friend lives in Mexico, by the way. He's a pro Bitcoin. What up, Javier? Appreciate you tuning in from Mexico. Much love, much respect. 32,000. Let's go. Much respect to Javier Malay. That's what's up. Bitcoin's now up 18% for the month and we're just getting started. Can you say October? Was there any doubt? Did you doubt October? Were there any reservations, fam? Come on, 31.8. The price action's amazing. Awesome. Let's go. 32. Bring it. I made a video last night and it was fully taken down and I got a warning. Says Robbie. So annoyed, especially after a few hours of work. That truly sucks. My condolences because I know what YouTube censorship is. I got terminated permanently from YouTube for 11 days and then they reinstated my account and apologized. So that's why we're also on Rumble. I know you're also on Rumble. Everyone give Robbie a follow. He makes incredible music. We often play on the show, especially on Rumble. We always play his music. So show him some love. Shout out. Let's get the 500 live. We're so close. 450 and climbing. Let's freaking go. Steve Hubs, just do the opposite of the full Kramer. Nailed it. Guaranteed gains when you do that. Pump, I'm ready for 40K. Send it. Let's freaking go. Kramer strikes again. That's right. Can't make this ish up. Facts. That's what's up. Uh, so yeah, crypto, it is what it is. Does this count as all caps? <laughs> I do have some parameters set to try to keep spammers out because when you have hundreds of people on the live stream, it's rough uh, for the mod. So we're trying to do the best we can. Uh, but yeah, if you get a warning, you know. So yeah, smash that like if you're gaining value out of today's show. It's the greatest compliment you can do and it helps out tremendously with the algorithm. Also a heads up, we have a new YouTube channel we created about a month ago called Clips. It's Crypto News Alerts Clips. It can be found at clips.cryptonewsalerts.net. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe to the new channel as well, which is blowing up and I appreciate the support. It's Streamlabs AI. Yeah, it's in a bot. I schedule it to do some interaction so it can, you know, make sure you guys smash the like, subscribe to the channel, follow on Rumble. So that's all by design. 420, exactly right now. Holy moly. Puff, puff, pass. Hits from the Hopium Bong. Malay, yeah, did surprisingly not have the most votes. But since nobody won with enough, there will be another round and another chance. Good to note, Patrick. I didn't understand that. Uh, so there wasn't enough votes. So therefore, don't count. They got to vote again. As long as he didn't lose and there is still hope that he becomes president, we get a pro-Bitcoin presidential Dude, uh, for Argentina would be a game changer. I always smash the like and share your videos on my social media. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it, Mr. Bitmarch. I'm here for the fellow night. Word up, Chris. The FOMO is real, yo. Let's go. Make it an interactive mod. Over 400. Let's bring it. July 13th, the day we closed 31.4. Good to know. Squirrel bait. I know I had plenty of time, but want to buy more cheap. Don't we all? But aren't you glad you weren't fully on the sidelines and you got in the game and you've been listening to crypto news alerts and I've been telling you every single day, you don't know when Bitcoin is going to rip. So if you don't have your position and you're sitting on the sidelines, you're going to be missing out. So hopefully y'all got your positions. Yeah, you know I mean, and also follow crypto news alerts on X. Follow what Streamlabs is sharing. I am very active on X and I deliver incredible content. Just saying. Squirrel bait, Coinbase locked me out for a couple of hundred dollars. What the? F I'll send it over when it's unlocked. That sucks. Uh, sorry to hear about that. Coinbase, what's going on, Brian Armstrong? Talk to us. I feel like cars are a liability and a hassle now. Well, they are. Uh, they don't go up in value unless you got the Bugatti, like top G. Just saying. Bitcoin just, in whoa, interacted with the 1.4 Fibonacci of the move of 24.9 to 28. Shout out to Carl uh, Bart's Bitcoin explosion. Send it. That's right. Subscribe to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Y'all know what to do. No doubt. Pump Tober. Bring it. DCA Bitcoin no alts. Welcome fam. Never too late. Steve George got banned from his YouTube channel a few days ago. They did reinstate it. Thank God. 
Good to note he got his channel back. He deserves it. He's a hard worker as well. Smash that like. Bitcoin's climbing. Cardano's climbing. Think it's time to pop a bottle of red and enjoy the ride. Let's freaking go. Crypto News Alert stackers. Bitcoin up 6% on the day. That's right. Shout out to the coin father. McLovin. What good? Elram. JV. Do you do private tutorials? Anything is possible with the right bribe, but not nah, typically I don't do anything private. I do my live show and that's about it currently. Argon, yeah. So please reframe from using all caps to try to prevent spams because you know oftentimes spammers will come on and they'll just blast caps. So the system is gonna recognize that, just FYI fam. Uh, nice info, I appreciate your concern. This will help a lot, especially the young investors who have no or lesser knowledge on the market. Thank you, appreciate it, Der Sox. Word up, enjoy the weekend. 13th wedding anniversary. Congratulations to Coin Father. That's what's up. Just cop some more sats, cause then it's moon time. Y'all gonna be riding the crypto rocket to Lambo land or Rari land, <laughs> whatever you prefer. No paper hands allowed, that's right. One of my alts just hit the green. So I sacrificed it for sats. Word up, Boz, you gotta do what you gotta do. Durox, I read more about Hilton uh, Harper crypto program on the internet. That's how I connected with him, good to note. I need some help, JV. Well. If you guys wanna connect with me in our community, I encourage you to join our Discord. It's discord.cryptonewslayers.net and you can connect with me and in the entire Bitcoin fam. We have a general chat. We have the 100,000 Fiesta chat for when we're gonna celebrate when Bitcoin hits 100,000 here in Puerto Rico. We got the JV Reacts chat. We got the Q&A chat. We got so much going on on Discord. So do yourself a favor. If you're not already a member, join us. Discord.cryptonewslayers.net and connect with fellow Bitcoin like-minded individuals and let's freaking go. Yeah, you know I mean, and with that being shared, sorry, all good things have to come to an end. The pump, what's the high? I know we hit already 31,008 and some change, but we shall continue over on Rumble. And I have this weird feeling inside of me. We can hit that all time high for the year right here in today's session. So if you want to continue with the uncensored live Q and A with JV reacts live on Rumble, go ahead and join us on Rumble right now. It's rumble.cryptonewsalerts.net or simply go to Rumble and just type in crypto news alerts and be sure to follow the channel, we should be able to hit 1,000 followers on Rumble today. YouTube, I am out. Hope to see you shortly over on Rumble. Deuces. All right, guys. We nailed it with the YouTube.